everybody. How are you guys doing today? Good. Good. So, I've got a question for you guys. Anybody here know anything about natural gas? How do you get natural gas out of the ground? Drill. Drill. You drill. What do you drill with? You know? Uh, Plastic? No, metal. Metal. Steel. Big steel pipe, right? And you know what you put on the end of the pipe to chew the rock up? What? A drill bit. A drill bit. Here, I'll pass this one around. It's nice and soft and squishy so you can't hurt yourself. You know what kind of rock and Canada drills a lot of wells into to get natural gas out of? Coal. Coal is one. If we're near Calgary and Drumheller, we drill into coal. And if we're up in northeast BC, we drill into a layer of rock called shale. So shale is formed when you take all the mud that's on the ground out there and you bury it. And it turns into really black stuff that we never knew how to get gas out of until about 10 years ago. And the secret, when you get, want to get gas out of a shale, a straight well isn't going to get enough gas out to pay for the well. So you have to drill a long well that goes sideways through the shale. Somebody built us a very nice model out of cupcakes and icing here to show us what happens when we drill into a shale. So the top layer that's all green, it's got trees and rocks, that's the grass. Then you go down and there's a layer of rock that's under the dirt in everybody's backyard. Then you get down and there's usually layers of water. How do you drill in the water? Yeah. You take, take one of these bits, I've got another one here, this is even smaller. It'd be on the end of a piece of steel pipe and you turn it and it goes down through the rock just like it's going through butter. To get to the shale, then you get other layers of rock and on this model, this nice white layer with all the good sprinkles on it, yeah. that's the shale layer. So this is my drill pipe. So I'm going to start drilling a well into the shale. So the first thing you do is you drill straight down, just as if you're drilling any other well. Then when you start to get close to the shale, you see it starts to curve. And you keep on drilling, and pretty soon you're drilling sideways. From the top of the ground until you get to the shale layer is two and a half kilometers, straight down. So we actually keep on drilling through the shale, and we'll go over three kilometers sideways. Really, to drill one of these wells in real life, it takes us 15 days. So then, when you've drilled the well completely, you put another big chunk of steel pipe into the hole to keep the rock from caving in. So you put what we call casing into the well, and then you pour cement all around it. And then it stays there. And then we can go in and get the gas out of the well. On a shale gas well, the size of this drill pipe or the casing would be about eight inches across. It would be about that, that big. And so then, when you're done drilling, and we've put casing in the hole, so the drilling rig comes along and it pulls all the pipe back out of the hole. Then we go in, and we run in with a smaller piece of pipe all the way inside, and we won't demonstrate this, but we basically load it up with explosive charges like big firecrackers, and we blast holes into spots all the way along here so that the gas can come out of the shale out of the white shale here and into our well. And then it comes all the way up the pipe for almost six kilometers and gets the surface and then we can take it to people's houses so they can burn it to keep warm or heat their water. So I've probably talked enough. Does anybody have any questions? Natural gas better than coal. Why is natural gas better than coal? That's a very good question. So both natural gas and coal and oil for that matter are hydrocarbons. So when you burn them, one of the byproducts is carbon dioxide. But coal has a lot more carbon in it than natural gas. So when you burn coal, you get a lot more carbon dioxide than you do when you burn natural gas. So natural gas is the cleanest burning hydrocarbon you have. Yeah. Is Canada mainly just drilling Drumheller and Northern BC or other places over North America? We drill, well we only drill in North America and we drill all over North America. Shale exists under most of North America. And so there's lots of opportunities for companies to find shale where they can drill wells and produce natural gas. Why do we need natural gas? Why do we need natural gas? Well, we need natural gas for a lot of things. The, the thing that you would notice right away if you didn't have natural gas in your house is it would start to get cold. Because you burn natural gas in your furnace to keep your house warm. The second thing you'd notice if you had no natural gas is it would be very cold the next time you had a bath or a shower because you probably use natural gas in your houses for your hot water heater. We also use natural gas to make things like this plastic tube that we're using in our model here. We use natural gas to make an awful lot of products that we use every day. So this is the kind of well 
that you drill near Drumheller, between here and here in Calgary. So you see the drilling rig up on the ground here. There's a little farm truck, grain elevator. These are all the different layers of rock that you drill through. So this isn't a horizontal well. They just drilled it straight down. If we were looking for shale gas, we would have drilled it straight down, then we would have turned sideways and we would have gone way over to that table. All right, well, thanks for your time, guys.